One of the things that I get asked the most questions about on this channel, in fact every time I use it, is the quick test when I use it to make connections to things like floodlights or indicators. And the quick test is a piece of equipment designed for industrial workshops um, and laboratories where you can actually make an electrical connection relatively safely to uh, anything that doesn't have a plug as standard. Say for instance, if you're in factory maintenance, you could have the industrial control modules, indicators, or in the case of uh, this channel, usually LED floodlights, which just come with a short tail and this at bare ends. And the idea is that this uh, is a unit that provides good isolation. Uh, it's not easy to knock the lid down. You actually have to push it down, and it's only once it's fully down it makes electrical connection. And that also shrouds connection at the same time. And to connect, you've got the... It's the European colours. You've got the blue neutral, you've got the green earth, and the brown live. And to connect, you simply take the wires, and you press the sort of key down, and you put the wire underneath and then release it, and it's basically it's a spring-loaded clamp that makes electrical connection. So you put the live, the earth, and the neutral in. And then when you close the lid, and I've got the light here to demonstrate this, just double check I've gotten the right way up, right order. Uh, when you close the lid down, it provides power to the item in test. Very, very handy indeed. And also very easy to connect to and to disconnect. So I'll just put these out of the way and we'll take a closer look at the unit. So it's got an in indicator that stays on all the time as long as it's powered, just to show it's active. And it's got these uh, knife blades, knife switches in the top, in the lid, with a fuse on the live one. So that when you actually open the lid up, it completely isolates. And we'll take a look inside as well. It completely isolates power going out to these terminals. And the fuse being in here, it means that if you're plugged into, well, if you're plugged into maybe a European socket um, and it's not got a fuse in the socket it means you've got at least a localised fuse. In the case of uh, Britain we would typically have uh, a 13 amp plug in it but it would let us maybe put a 3 amp fuse in there if we wanted. Uh, another place these are often used is a uh, well more common in the past uh, the television workshops where the televisions had live chassis and they'd have uh, this on the bench screwed down that would be connected to an isolation transformer and it means that anything that came in that needed to be, you know, isolated to work on for safety with no reference to earth, they could just put it into this. So um, I've unplugged it now, so let's take a look inside. So to make the connection, you can get these with the um, cable pre-connected or you get them just bare without the cable. In the case of America, I'm guessing probably bare without the cable because that lets you put in whatever your, or other countries as well, whatever colour code you'd use. Um, these are available in America, by the way. Um, we struggled initially to find out where they're available from, but in the end, uh, Solar Drew and Casey Norman mentioned that they're available from Newark Electronics for about $60, which is actually a good price. Uh, and I'll provide a link to that afterwards. So here we are, make sure it's unplugged. The connection comes in through the strain relief. It's just a press-in strain relief. It's got the screws for the earth in the middle that's continuously connected to the output terminal and the live and the neutral which are connected through the knife switch. And cobwebs as well. This is quite an old one. So um, uh, let's actually open it further, in fact. So inside we've got the NEEN indicator and we've got the receivers for the, the knife switches that I'm not even sure you'd call them, just uh, the sockets for the knife switches so that as the knife blades come down they go into them. But as you can see, when this is open, even with this design with the separators, there's really good separation physically between these. Even a bit of loose metal finding its way in would not bridge them out very easily. You'd have to have some really major misfortune for that to happen. But, uh, so the good isolation inside and underneath as well, really good separation between the input and output. And that's fundamentally it. The, the lid is not just a, it's got the, it's got a couple of spring loaded pins underneath. So as you press it down, it takes a modest amount of force. And then it, once it goes over that, then it goes down easily. But that's to stop it. It, it can't just fall down if you actually open it up fully, it locks back. So, um, well, 
Uh, I, I wonder what's under these actually. I've never actually taken these off. They're, they're actually very springy. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Hold on a second. This should work. Oh, this could go wrong. So there's a plastic pin going through here. Oh yes, feel the springiness. Oh, it's not too bad actually. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite, that's simpler than I was expecting. It's just a spring and it is just the plastic tip of the key has a sort of sharp wedge in it that uh, pushes it down into the receiving to actually it grip the cable as well actually because that's actually got a dip down. That's quite neat. I'll, I won't pull this key out because uh, all the rest will just pop right out. Oh, what the heck then? Yeah. So yes, it's quite well made. I mean, this is not a new thing. That This particular one is ancient. It's, as you can see from the state of the cable, this was uh, in use uh, decades ago, really, when I got this. And the reason I got it was because uh, the place we stored our test, test gear for, we used to use these to test the Christmas lights when we were putting new tube light on them, the municipal Christmas lights in Glasgow. And the place we stored it uh, decided that the pin out the hinge was obviously just what they needed. It was an engineering workshop. So we came one year and one of them just was lying with the lid next to it. And uh, uh, so I helped myself to it since it was going to get thrown out otherwise, since it was missing the pin, and simply replaced the pin with something suitable. Um, so um, it's been very useful. I use this a lot. It's very, very functional, very handy indeed. It's uh, perfect for a... Uh, it's sort of like an industrial maintenance workshop, but uh, not suitable for just randomly connecting domestic appliances to it. It really is designed for test purposes. In fact, it says in, in the top here, not for permanent or semi-permanent connections, um, and certainly not for um, just randomly an excuse to cut the plugs off all your tools and just ram the, uh, the wires into something like this. But it's, for, for what it does, uh, for its intended application, it's great. Uh, I think this is a really useful device.